guys i'm back with another one yes another bob style this one is going to be brought to you by the company my first wig and today i'm going to be showcasing a side part blunt cut bob this one is in the length 10 inches it is a 13 by 6 it is 160 percent in density this is indian hair this one also is a silky texture now this unit comes with two combs on the side a comb in the back your adjustable straps and you also have your adjustable elastic band And it does come with your deep and ultimate pre plug hairline and it also comes with deep bleach knots now i think i told you guys on another video that i just recently did that they do have different options on the website now so you get your regular pre plug hairline and pre bleach for every day and then all the extra deep stuff does cost extra money okay just want to put that out there however if you're going to give me a deep plucked hairline this is how it should look I want it plucked. I want it to look like scalp. I want it to look like it's coming from me. I'm gonna keep this as a right side part because your girl has been getting a lot of left side part wigs and I need to show some love to the right side part. So I'm just going to elongate the parting space and then I'm gonna place some wax at the top also. And then I'm going to go over it with the hot comb because I want this to be really nice and flat and lay down. Now, I know y'all probably like, girl, you didn't do your curved side part. No, I didn't. I said, I'm gonna rock it how it came, okay? So I'm just pressing everything back, making sure there's no lumps and bumps. And then I'm gonna go around my ear area and cut that excess lace off because I want this to sit above my ear. So now I'm just gonna place some bobby pins on the side because I'm not gonna be worried about the side of my hair today because of the way the bob is gonna fall. It's not really going to show anyway. But the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with some mousse and I'm using my olive oil fix it mousse and I'm just placing that around the front of the hairline and I'm just going to push everything into the hairline so it can melt. I noticed that this lace seemed to be a little bit lighter so I'm hoping that it all melts down but I'm going to take it a step further. Now, if you want to stop at using the mousse, you can, but just for like a little bit more of a melted look, you'll also see me go in with some of my spritz and just lightly pat that into the hairline. I'm not gonna use too much because like I tell you guys, if I'm gonna wear a wig, I like to be able to take it off at night. Take me any time to flat iron this unit. I just added a slight bump. Now I'm gonna take the elastic band off to see what this lace is looking like. And so far, so good. I feel like it looks really nice. And if you have good lace, you shouldn't have any issues with getting your unit to melt down. I'm gonna add some powder into the parting space area just to kind of cover up some of that lightness that I see in the front. And I just wanted to blend in a bit more. I did notice the front of the lace seemed to be a bit more open than the back of the lace. So I definitely want this all to flow well together. And yes, I did like a little swoop on the side and I'm gonna tuck that hair because I feel like it looks really natural. And then I definitely need to add some serum in this hair because this is a silkier texture i did notice some frizziness and i also noticed some flyaways at the top of this unit so this is going to help everything look nice and sleek 
This is the final look. Really quick, easy, and simple. This unit does come in a yakky texture. Y'all know how I feel about yakky. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I wanted to try this silky texture. I feel like this is lightweight for the summertime. And then everything came together as far as the hairline goes. But make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts when it comes to this bob wig. So once again, this unit comes from the company My First Wig. This is a quick and simple easy unit not much has to be done to it of course you do got to cut off the lace but you don't have to really put too much work into the unit so i decided to go in with my olive oil mousse and i also use a little bit of spritz just to give it that extra melt i didn't put any right in this area because i did use bobby pants to secure that but just around this area and i lightly tapped it in of course you can go in and do that if you just want to take it a little bit further versus the mousse because it is so hot here i cannot promise you that it won't slip and slide back so just go in with some extra reinforcements state that this unit comes with a deep plucked hairline and i feel like they did a really good job with plucking out the hairline it looks nice and thinned out but i don't feel like it's balding however with the lace for some reason i feel like the lace it's a little bit on the grayer side in certain areas like even when i cut it off because i've worked with other my first wig units and i feel like that lace was on point but this one was a little bit harder for me i'm not sure why but right in this area like when i was turning to the side let me turn this way you can see like a little bit of cast and i just recently done another my first wig unit and once i put the mousse on it melted in so well that i didn't have to go in with any powder but just like right in this area i had to go in with some powder and then there's some other areas i could probably touch up with powder but i wasn't really too much worried about it, it wasn't blending in as well as i thought it would be and they also did a good job with bleaching the knots on this unit i did have to go in with a little bit of powder just to kind of open it up and also to conceal where it was a little bit lighter right here and it's more open right here in this area and it's not as open right here but that wasn't a big deal for me you can go in and part this you know another way if you are not feeling the right side part but most of my wigs have been coming with left side parts when it comes to the bob so i was happy to do a right side part here behind my ear just to show you guys how natural it still looks i'm loving the length on this because this is great for every day and also the density is perfect because it's very lightweight now this is a silky texture and you guys know i usually go for a yakky texture but i feel like silky is still good especially in the summertime if you want to just go a little bit lighter and i love the movement on this now i did get a little bit of shedding but i also did have to go in on the side and cut down some of that lace so it could sit above my ear and then as far as tangles go i really don't expect much to happen with this unit however i am noticing some frizziness and flyaways if you are interested in this one i am going to make sure to leave all the links down below guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys mm -hmm.